two years of waiting, the second floor is finally here in Cartridge 2. Alright, so this update brings 18 new crushers with a second floor and four new vehicles. So let's go check out the crushers. In row two, to start it all off, we have the water slide. So this is a huge water slide that leads into something where you can get points. And three, two, one, here it is. You go into one of these holes. There's a crusher right here. There's a blade that just completely destroyed my car. But if I fly through here, you can actually see a crusher. So if you get into the higher points right here, you get into that. Here we have the melting crusher. We just go in here, activate crusher. Let's kind of get out of the way here. But if we watch from here, it's heating up. Oh my gosh, that's getting a little heated. And then my car just, whoa, oh my, it turns red. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, it's starting yellow now. This thing is the sun. This crusher is amazing. Oh my gosh. The pulse cannon you can see right here. You has got to go in, turn on the crusher. A huge cannon that kind of, pulses your car really just kind of makes your car jump around i just lost every window on my car it just shoots me makes my car kind of fly around until it is completely destroyed and it is making my car fly around this thing takes way too long though the ceiling blender has no quick activate button you just have to put your car right here head inside and turn it on three two one lower oh shoot we have to start the blade kind of completely forgot about that part here we go there goes the blade there goes my car this one's pretty productive but also pretty slow but there goes my car uh back up it, it's my car's gone <laughs> it's completely gone break in the video to tell you that i'm hosting a 10,000 robux giveaway and all you gotta do is subscribe it's as simple as that ends in four weeks good luck over here in row three we have so many new crushers about 75 percent of these crushers are new so let's take a look right here we have the tsunami crusher let's just throw our car into the water here let's go over here and turn it on just look at this thing so first it drops this big pipe into the water here comes the tsunami oh my gosh it completely crushes your car it crushes you if you're in the way luckily i have superhuman but i would have just absolutely died there and it looks like i am dead right here we have the minefield which you don't start you just run into it so let's say you touch a mine right here uh-oh boom absolutely destroys your car honestly if you do this properly you could destroy your car instantly just go into this big patch right here and your car's done it also explodes if you touch it they just regenerate after a while so it's a pretty easy crush just drive in and blow up your car are you looking to cook something up in cars too well right here we have the microwave you can cook up your hot dog car i have a lucky's lfa not a hot dog but oh i just locked myself out all right i'm very smart so now i'm up here let's just quickly move the conveyor to have my car in there and let's enable it microwave here we go it kind of zaps your car you can kind of see it there we go it's zapping my car right here my car is boom boom a fan favorite the pressure pit right here you just put your car right in here with a quick activate it kind of oh I, I missed oh that works so it kind of magnets your car down into the water until it becomes too much for the car the pressure is too much and then it explodes <laughs> right here we have the lamest crusher in this row it's called the mega mill it's just basically a huge ferris wheel but for cars you just plop your car right into your seat uh, not really a seat uh, because it kind of flings you around just like so just goes into your car is absolutely destroyed kind of flips your car oh i made it out oh my gosh <laughs> that's that's kind of cool but yeah my car is basically done for now <laughs> last but not least on the second floor for this row we have the chomper here we go let's just open him up right now and he is chomping he's about to chomp my car if i get close uh oh okay next chomp he's about to get me uh oh and let's hope he likes my car because i'm going now down into his body and i'm dead now here on the ground floor of row three we have a bunch of huge crushers this might mean that there's bigger vehicles coming to cars too there's some that were old crushers that were upgraded to be big just like so we have the wall crusher we have the crusher we have the spinning hammer and we have the big spinner a lot of spinners crushers and all that stuff but we have some new ones on the other side let's check them out first up we have the laser incinerator here we go let's just turn it on a big wall comes in pushes you in and uh oh we have to dodge the lasers oh my gosh i don't think we're oh, okay we can't do that there's a lot of lasers so i would say this crusher is better for bigger cars but still really cool here we have the tube shredder that has i think four blades in this thing which in reality it only needs one but why have one when you can have four <laughs> so here we go let's try and drive all the way through and i didn't even make it past the first blade that's why this thing only needs one my car is completely destroyed just with one blade why does this thing need four i have no clue the spinning room just like the washing machine but larger and with some blades so let's turn it on it kind of spins like so way better for bigger cars but you know this thing still gets the job done on smaller cars here we go 
and boom my car is done i am stuck inside the blade and my game's broken <laughs> To finish it off for row three, we have the missile cannon, just like the pulse cannon, but with missiles. Let's try and dodge the missiles real quick. If we just drive around, uh oh, uh, and oh, we dodged one kind of. Okay, we're kind of dodging the. Oh, never. And now finally for row four, we have four classified crushers that are on the left, but on the right, we have these four new crushers. I would say some of the best crushers in this update so let's go take a look so for our first one we have the tornado which we just click this button right here we look up and there's a tornado it's coming down it is going to start swirling my car all around hitting these little things on the wall and it also takes me okay i okay i'm dead but here goes my car you can kind of see it hitting the wall it is going to get destroyed and so am i if uh oh the car's going to run me over and yeah that's kind of tornado it's pretty slow but it, it's really cool next up we have the engine nino you just set your car right here head in here click this red button activating it puts these cords on your wheels it, the wheels don't spin it's just for your engine so the engine's revving right now as loud as it can the engine will start smoking as you can see right here and then soon it will blow up just like so it only gets half of your car so this crusher also really is not good for row four um it's cool and all that but it's not good for row four there's some that are better right here we have the space vacuum we just go in here as it closes behind me and the kpa so i don't even know what that is it just sucks all the air out of it so my car starts floating until it eventually just well my car just explodes because all the air is being sucked out of it I, I could be just saying nonsense right now but i think that's what this is it's all getting sucked out it's just like space and then the car just explodes just like so and i also die i have superhuman and i still just die this crusher is a little deadly <laughs> now last but certainly not least for all the crushers we have the rocket launch you just come over here press this on thing it doesn't go yet until you finally go inside i'm gonna have to turn my sound on for this turn on my sound there's a countdown here we go there's a countdown attaches your car and then it's about to let go Oh, my car just got a little bit messed up, but we don't talk about that. Here we go. We just go so high up. This is so cool. Look at that. And then it officially, not officially, the, the bottom of the rocket just, just drops. And then the cords drop me. I just got jumped out of my car for some reason, but here we go. My car is going to the ground. I'm going to land on the small mountain. If this thing doesn't obliterate my car, I'll give someone 1 million Robux because I think it will just... And here goes my body. Something else that's new when it comes to unlocking crushers is you can still unlock crushers with parts, which is actually easier now because parts don't unlock a whole half of a row. They just unlock crusher by crusher, so it makes it a lot easier. So I already have all of these unlocked with 245,000 parts, but with this one still needs 250,000 parts. So now that you just unlock them one by one, which I think is an amazing feature instead of having to wait to get all four, but you can also get crushers with XP now. If we go up here to the little checkboard, go in here, go in here, and then go all the way down here, XP crushers. You can see right here with XP, you can unlock crushers. I already have two of them unlocked. As you go along, the more and more XP gets you more and more crushers. The best one you can get is the Tsunami for 20,000 XP, and you can get about 1,000 to 1,500 XP for each quest you do. So like earn a thousand parts and a bonus crusher in between the price of whatever vehicle. You can also use the new Frenzy system that I will be showing you right after this on how to do it, how it is, and yeah, you can get 3,000 XP for these if you just make a frenzy. So find a friend, make a frenzy, but let me go explain what a frenzy is. All right, I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend 72 CW to try out the new frenzy system. He also has a new car, so we'll look at those later, but let's check this out. Turn it on. There's the frenzy number. Let's Once it. it gets to, yes, let's get it. Once it gets to 100, then the frenzy thing starts and goes for like two minutes, 30 seconds or something like that. Yeah, for a 50% money increase. There it is. It's actually almost to 100, but then it goes back down. So it's probably gonna go down to like 10. So we have to respawn our cars and continue doing it until it gets to 100. A few moments later. All right, we got a big car right 
right here that 72 is using. Um, okay, let's do this. Let's see if this All even right. helps. I can barely even see the frenzy thing. Yeah, get your big car out of here. Ah, there it's we almost go. at 100. Oh, it's at 100. Yes. Okay, frenzy for one minute, 30 seconds. So this gives us a 50% money increase right there. As you can see, it's green. So that's, I think it's for everyone in the server. It shows this. So 50% money increase. We just head in here for another two, one minute. We get a 50% money increase. So let's get some of that cash money. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah. All right. So that's basically how the frenzy system works. Let's hope you have friends and let's go to the next thing. So that's everything you can find with the new crushers, but we have not talked about the whole new, almost new facility. You can still spawn your car on the first floor, but if you wish to spawn your car in the second, you just go here, settings, and then all the way down here, top floor or ground floor, you can still spawn at row four if you want to go to ground floor. If you want to go to top floor, you just press top floor. Simple as that. If you are on the ground floor and wish to go to the top floor, you can take these little things right here. You just go up. They kind of make your car a lot faster if your car is a little slow. And boom, you're already on the second floor if you didn't spawn your car on the second floor. Also, right here, if you want to go from one floor to the other, you can call the elevator from whatever floor it's on then. And you just wait for it to come up. Right here it is. There's two elevators and escalators in the server. So, or ramps. So here we go, move down. I'm just going down and pretty quick opens the door and I'm here. I'm on the ground floor, amazing. If you're here on the top floor, there's five bridges around the place that you can pick to go on. There's here the main bridge in the middle with a very cool glass to look inside the lobby to spy on people actually. It also looks very cool from under. Look at that, there's my truck right above me. It looks really cool and it looks like it's about to fall through the glass, but it ain't. Cause this thing's made out of Tesla Cybertruck glass. That's a fact that I just made up. You can also find bridges on every single row around the place to get from one side of the road to the other. So you can drive around the second floor very fast without having to worry about taking your time to get to another place. If you wish to go from the top floor to the bottom floor really fast, you can just do this. That should be everything that came with the facility in this update, but let's go check out the new cars that came this update. Starting it off with the vehicle that you could get if you joined the car crushers 2 update the second floor update on time If you were there as the update came out you got this car at least I think that's how it is I'm gonna test server right now. So I think it's only if you're there on time. I don't know if it's the whole day But yeah, this thing's amazing. It's amazing for a free car. I would say it's free. Come on Um, like I was saying this is a test server. So this car's camera's a little messed up So let me hop out of the car. So this is the oil wells oil truck I, It's an amazing truck probably the best truck in the game best looking truck, but is it explosive? Let's see this Oh my gosh, it's explosive. That's absolutely amazing. Right here, we have got another goofy looking Lamborghini model. Nothing can beat the original. It, it looks all right, but it's not amazing. It just looks like the other Lamborghinis in game, if I'm gonna be completely honest. But I mean, it's all right, I'll, I'll still use it. Next, we have this super fast van because it's literally called the super van. This thing's expensive for what it is, but I think it's really fast or something like that because I am going really fast for a van. Let's check out the interior. Oh my gosh, <laughs> okay, that's not a good transition there. But that's the interior. This truck looks weird to say the least, but you know, it's a cool car at that. All right, so the last car in this update is a limited car the mercedes maybach 6 or whatever it is 6.2 billion and i actually don't have the car because it's a test server but here we go here is the car owned by 72 cw the absolute businessman chad in there and here is the car insane rims like very different very cool very unique all right that's all the main stuff but there's one last thing i forgot to show you and that's all the christmas decorations around the map so the map is being turned fully to snow the um facility is being turned into a decoration wonderland it looks amazing and the outside kind of has these wooden huts and a bunch of Christmassy themed stuff it all looks amazing but yeah thank you all for watching i hope you all have an amazing day and peace